Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We are doing a balanced world. It's a map by Debra. It really is. It's not by Mapper. Uh, we see a little bit of the car, but not too much to get any good information off of it. We're on a dirt road. Sun's kind of to our south. So we're in the northern hemisphere. Weird looking telephone poles. God, we're off to a great start, guys. Off to a great start. I think we're going to have to go with Europe on this one. This definitely doesn't feel like Mexico. Uh, or Guatemala. I mean, it could. That is Portuguese. Uh, access only allowed with a company of a certified guide. I don't think we have a certified guide. So welcome to the Fernando de Noroja Marine National Park. I thought this that's the flag kind of of Brazil kind of of Brazil uh the fact that the Sun's kind of to our south though maybe we just say that it's kind of overhead but definitely towards the south we yeah isn't Curacao Dutch we're gonna we're gonna keep looking we're gonna fucking keep looking I figured uh, I guess we could be Portugal itself not necessarily Brazil. Park, National Park of that, which we already saw. Uh, we can see more of the car here. I would like to leave this place, if possible. I think this is the parking lot to leave. It's not. Well, fuck. There's the .br. We know we're in Brazil. Oh, god damn it. Brazil hasn't been our friend lately. Uh, either as Russia, but like Brazil really hasn't been our friend lately. So hopefully, hopefully we can figure some shit out. I mean, we know we're in a national park. I guess we could look for that. But like, come on, come on. It's Brazil. There's, there's forests everywhere. Where are the national forests? Uh, I don't know. This is probably still the Amazon out here. It could be any of these, but it doesn't even look like any of these are labeled. I didn't see any two-letter county, or no, state codes. State codes. So uh, we're not able to isolate it that way. We just know we're in a state park. Not exactly how we wanted to start the day, but you know what? Sometimes shit like this happens. We got 10 seconds. We're not finding anything. All right. Uh, looking for a good guess. State of Piaui. Because I have no reason to guess anywhere else. And, and, it ends up being an island that never existed before today. Off the coast of Brazil. Uh, and I don't think anyone saw that coming. I mean, we did say, oh, it could be an island. And then we looked over here. You want to know why we looked over here? Because there's islands over here. You know why we didn't look over here? Because there's no islands over here. How many fucking islands are over here? Just this one? Just that? Yeah. Alright, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Group of sixteen islands. Yeah, go fuck yourselves. Kilometers, it's right there. Sun to our south for sure, so in the northern hemisphere. Villa Nueve del Rio. Uh, so it's Spanish, it looks like a yellow divider line, although, yeah, no, that's a yellow divider line. Right hand side of the road, so it's Spanish again, right hand side, northern hemisphere. CL and PP. Right hand side of the road. No phone numbers, we just have a gas. We have a weird telephone number. I think it's Spanish. I'm pretty sure it's not Portuguese. Uh, so it's pretty much Mexico, Guatemala. I guess we can get away with Northern Colombia. Although it doesn't really feel like any of those places. It really, uh, it's got to feel like one of them. I don't know what the PP and the CL is though. Saldana, Guardo, Villa Nuevo. God damn it. I just need, hey man, you're 30 kilometers from Mexico City. Thanks, man. 
Nope. <sighs> I don't think it's Guatemala. Don't think it's Colombia. I guess we can think Ecuador, but the sun was definitely like south, right? And if we were in Ecuador, it'd probably be more central. Now it's a white divider line, unless I definitely did go colorblind. Cambino de Sentido and Camino Agricola. Nothing. Nothing. You would think, like, I don't want to call this a major road, but, like, it definitely feels more of a road than anything else. Oh, what if this is actually Spain? Now that we're coming into this, this could be actual Spain. Which would make sense for the weird fucking road numbers, right? Do they just have the CC and the PPs and the, the bumblefuckies? Maybe. But it definitely didn't feel like, like, America. So then it would come down to, well, map is just fucking blind. Yeah, A231 CL615? Uh, maybe. Uh, A231 probably gonna show up. Here's the CM, so we know they exist. Uh, Burgos and Leon. I've seen Leon before. I don't know where, I don't remember where I've seen Leon. Here's Leon. Um, that should be to our north. I don't know where Burgos is. Here's Burgos. So that's supposed to be to our north as well. Maybe we're over by Valodid. Uh, Saldana. Isn't that this region up here? Guys, I'm so confused. And Guardo. Uh, I don't see that name anywhere. We're going to go closer to Burgos. And actually, uh, moving our guests closer to Burgos was better. However, it was in between Burgos and Leon. At least we didn't guess Mexico there. Uh, that could have been really bad. But not not terrible. Villodo, Vil, Viloldo. There were still two names that we weren't able to find. We probably weren't looking in the right area. Yeah, here's Guardo. Uh, and here's Saldana. So definitely weren't looking in the right area for that. Uh, we should have probably just guessed in between Leon and Burgos. But it said they were both in one direction. And I think that's more or less why we decided to go one way or the other. Not a bad guess. Uh, clearly the Brazil round is going to be the one that sucks. But uh, Gen 4 camera. Look how overexposed it is. Does that mean Norway? Perhaps the sun is to our south, so we got to be in the northern hemisphere. We are on the right hand side. This could actually be the United States. We do have a lot of Ram trucks. Red front license plate, but that could just be a cover. That doesn't necessarily mean they need it. Yeah, because then you look on the back and it's not red. Uh, so that's just somebody has a decorative front license plate cover. So it's got it. That means it's a state that doesn't have front license plates. First of all, um, it could be California. Oh, not California. God damn it, Canada. Jackson Keys, 500 feet, and it says wine. Now, I know there's a lot of wine in California, and I know there's a lot of wine in New York. I don't believe this is going to be New York. And here's here's the winery. Whatever that means. Uh, but... Well, California and New York, I'm pretty sure both have front license plates so where else could we find a place that has a lot of wine but no wineries i'm not too sure uh that's definitely a place that is is lost to me uh it says 101 men yeah yeah uh good good joke uh, i guess we'll just keep going i'm not too sure man i'm not too sure Hopefully, hopefully we find something. Adopt a highway. Let's get a little bit closer. Sarakina Vineyards. Yeah. Nope. I have no idea where we are. Uh, definitely in the United States. I don't think it's it's temperate enough in California. Now, God, why do I keep calling Canada California? I don't think it's temperate enough. Yeah, half mile on the right. Somewhere in the United States that makes wine. Uh, New York, California, maybe we can get away. Ah, uh, we have mountains, so... I don't think it's upstate New York. We haven't seen any, any signs on the sides of the roads yet. Like, 
highways or stuff like that. I wish I knew more about wine. I do. If I knew where wine grew well, that's a CR. So CR? Colorado? Can they grow wine out in Colorado? It's not Connecticut. I don't think it's California because California would be CA. I think it's got to be Col well, Colorado is CO. Elk Grove, California. That's where the truck's from. That just that's all that means. Um, but it does end up being California. Really? And and Wolf Tracker gets perfect score. It's over by Largo. Uh it really didn't feel like California there. And granted, California is huge. You know, it takes up more than it takes like sixty percent of the western coast. Pretty big state, so I'm guessing that well, I know. Not I don't have to guess here that uh, there's different temperatures in different zones. The big wineries I know for sure: California, New York, and on New York it's Long Island. I got to learn more about wine though. I got to learn a lot more about wine. Uh, definitely in a city by Toys R Us. So this is taken before they close. That says Island. I don't know if that's where we are, but uh, we'll go for it. No, there's no way. All right. Hong Kong Children's Hospital. Sorry, Sweden, but uh, today is not your day to shine. So can we find the Hong Kong Children's Hospital over by Ruby Tuesday, McDonald's, Toys R Us, and Island? And it's going to be to our south. <sighs> It definitely feels like we're in the city. The issue is, are we on Hong Kong Island or no? Do we have a bunch of streets? I need to see, say, go this way. The Cho Hong Interchange. All right, we're screwed. It, it literally might be our best bet to just look for the Children's Hospital of Hong Kong. Uh, here's the St. Teresa. Here's the Evangel. The Sanatorium. Gratham. Matilda. Queen Mary. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to find Children's Hospital. The Duchess of Chent Children's. So, like, this could be the, the, I'm going to say, Hong Kong Children's Hospital. But it looks like they're all going to have their own name to it. Uh, so, we, we would really need to go that way and find out what it is. Because here's the Pamela Yord Eastern Hospital. Lots of hospitals, but it's a big city, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, but yeah, we didn't find the name for the children's hospital. We just found children's hospital. I guess we could always look for the Ikea. That might be easier to fucking find. If that's easier to find than a hospital, there's a fucking problem in the world. All right, we're going to start up here. Show me Ikea. Bruce Lee statue. St. Teresa's again. An arcade. We have a red tag. What is this? Bird market? All right, not what we wanted. Uh, come on, come on. We have a hospital over here. United Children's Hospital. Ooh, Ikea, please? No? We did find a children's hospital. That's important. All right, we're going to keep going. This sign right here says Cruise Terminal. Where is the big port? I feel like everything comes out of here. I, I don't know. I feel like the cruise terminal has got to be here. Unless they come out directly. Oh, yeah. They come out fucking directly. All right. Children's Hospital. Cruise ships. This feels like a cruise ship. Or it could be this. This could be the cruise ship area. And it ends up being the other side. Uh, so I went with where there was more boats coming in, as you can see. There's more dock slips here uh, instead of over here. Looks like this is the cruise terminal. I don't know, guys. I've never been on a cruise. I don't know where cruises and ships go. Uh, oh, it literally is the Hong Kong Children's Hospital. But you had to zoom in really fucking far. So we probably would have never been able to use that as a clue. Uh... Or Ikea, because Ikea was, like, right here. Uh, and it's not showing up. So, two thumbs up. 
Unless that was just an advertisement for Ikea. That's possible. Uh, it's so really, like, I could see it already. I could goddamn fucking see it already. Are we gonna screw it up today? Probably. I don't see the letter I, which means it's not the Ukraine. Could be... Uh, do we... Pyramid? We do have Pyramid. Unless it's the letter A and I'm just fucking up. But that looks different from that. So I think this is A and that's Pyramid. It doesn't feel like Russia. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like Mongolia either. Especially because we can't see the car. I think we... Oh god. What the fuck happened here? Is that just updated coverage? Or did we just get transported back in fucking time? I think we got transported back in time. <sighs> I feel like it is going to be Russia. If it is going to be Russia, I feel like we got to go Eastern Russia. I don't think this is West. It doesn't feel very West. And I think that's just like the, the dreariness of it. Hey, bro. Oh, you, are you asking for directions? With... I'm going to make up a name. I was going to say Shania Twain, but I don't think it's Shania Twain. I don't know. Somebody in their window. They're, they're a happy camper. But it's got to be Russia. You only find crazy people like that in Russia. I think this is an ambulance or a fire truck. Guys, things are different in other countries. And you really, you really start to realize it the more you explore the world. Like, just how different police cars look fire trucks look even in the united states going from state to state police cars are different so imagine like I, so when i drive I'm, i hope everybody's like this like when you look in your rear view so you could pretty much tell if it's a cop following you yeah there's pyramid but it's d you pretty much are, are able to tell based on the headlights of the car behind you it's a cop or not right well in other states they use different cars so, the United States, I believe right now, it's the Ford Taurus. God, I hope I got that right. Uh, whatever, it's a cop car. Then you have the Dodge Chargers that are state troopers. And then you have, like, SUVs sometimes that are uh, state troopers and cops. and It depends, but sometimes they're like Ford Explorers. Supercharged, they're fast, don't fuck with them. Right? Like, lesson learned, don't do it. That Not me, I didn't learn that lesson, because I pulled over. Some people don't. The issue is, when you get to explore different states, you don't know what the fuck's following you. It could be a cop. Does that mean you should obey the laws at all times? Probably. Does that mean that's what we do? No. Uh, not a bad guess off in Russia. It looks like me and Wolfchuck have the same idea to kind of go in the middle. Uh, it ends up being a town called Kanti Mansiyik, over by some river in the middle of Bumblefuck, Russia, where I figure probably low population. Uh, but we're not going to walk away victorious here, mainly, mainly because of that island guess. Obviously, Russia could have been a little better. We could have done better in California. Spain was pretty good. Hong Kong was pretty good. California, I'm, I'm not too happy about, but it's Russia, so we, we kind of knew that Russia wasn't going to be the best for us. Uh, but we got seven people today, so Wolf Trek coming in first place and almost 20,000. Did anyone guess the island correctly? That is my question of the day. So E. Chandler in second, uh, only beating Bentley Aaron by like 100 points, who got the island correct. Bentley Aaron, this island does not exist. How did you fucking know it was here? Uh, we all know how I did, guessing more middle Brazil. I guess if we found a coastline, uh, we would have done a little bit better. We did not find a coastline, so we did not. Uh, and it looks like I really screwed up California here, but I can assure you, I didn't. Benedict Schwanker coming in fifth, not going with Russia, instead going with Bulgaria. I wonder if that was from my video yesterday, if I convinced you that it didn't feel like Russia enough. Uh, Scribbles coming in sixth, going with what appears to be Florida over California. I don't actually know if Florida makes any wine. Uh, and then going with Russia, but the southern part of, of Russia. And then Tin coming in seventh. Instead of going for Spain, going with Australia. And having a pretty decent Russia guess. 
However, it looks like not getting the island here, instead going with Cameroon, which doesn't have coverage. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and it also looks like, let's see, Kentucky, West Virginia. I also don't think they make any wine. But uh, wine, I, I don't know. It's not my strong suit. Beer is my strong suit. I like beer. I don't like wine. Uh, but that's going to be where we call it for the day. So tomorrow we are going to be having the Pro League. Let me uh, show you guys. It's the Rural World Season 2. We'll be playing this tomorrow. Uh, so look forward to this. It ends tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, so if you guys have not played a Rural World Season 2 yet, your chance to play it is today and maybe a little bit of tomorrow. So remember to get out there and play year round. Uh, but that is going to be for where we call it for the day. Look forward to the video tomorrow. Now it is one minute timers for five rounds. Panning and zooming allowed, moving not allowed. Um, so it should be a relatively fast video. It's just going to be a little bit of a... Hey guys, here's a Rural World Season 2 first leg. The reason we're posting it tomorrow is try and let all these wonderful people who signed up for it, which if we go down the list, we have 69 people, which I guess is the best part about it. Uh, let them play it first so that they're not coming over here, watching the video, getting external assistance from it, uh, and doing better than they normally would have. But until uh, tomorrow, guys, thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you all then. Bye-bye.